This is a young patient who presented primary menorrhea, got an MRI to uh, evaluate the um, internal organs to try to understand what was going on. And so we can look at this patient. We have a sagittal T2-weighted uh, sequence over here, and this is a patient who hasn't had any surgery uh, prior to this. And one of the things that we notice is on the sagittal midline images, the uterus is absent. We're really not seeing any portion of the uterus, which would be very, very unusual. I mean, the patient has not had surgery, so there's something going on with there. Um, if we look more closely, you know, there's a little bit of tissue over here, but it uh, doesn't really uh, look like uterine tissue. If we look more inferiorly, maybe in the midline we see a little bit of uh, vagina over there, but certainly the upper aspect of it is uh, is absent. Um, and so that's one of the things that we'll notice on this image. If we look on the axial T2-weighted images, again, we can see that the uterus is uh, is missing on the axial images. As we go down, we can see some of the vagina around the distal third looks uh, uh, okay over there, but the upper two-thirds of the vagina, rather, are not really well seen. As far as we can see here, the external genitalia looks within normal limits. We notice that the patient does have ovaries. The left ovary is over there, and the right ovary is over here. And so we're really left with a, a case where uh, the uterus and upper two-thirds of the vagina are missing with appropriate appearing ovaries and uh, on our images and per the electronic record, the external genitalia being within normal limits. And so this is a, a rare example of uh, one of the malarian abnormalities, essentially malarian agenesis class 1, uh, specifically uh, mayor kutansky kuster hauser which is the name given to this, where there is absence of the uterus and upper two-thirds of the vagina the lower one-third of the vagina is present, the external genitalia is within normal limits, the ovaries are present. These patients will present with primary amenorrhea. We uh, see these findings on imaging. can be associated with other abnormalities involving other organs, such as the kidney, um, some of the vertebral bodies. In this case, we didn't see that. Um, and so that's something to look out for uh, in addition to um, the findings in the pelvis.